Yeah, yeah. We're on a train now. After all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Hmm. You think he's a keeper? Security to run around. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <clears throat> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? <laughs> Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. 
the last train. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. We've got a crowd to hide in. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Marco Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Well, pretty good. Guess the plate's not so safe. Hi, can I see your face? Can you turn around? Oh, uh, hi, girl. You see the size of that fire? Hi, pretty girl. How dare they say they're doing this for the planet? Can't really see your face. They said it was an attack, but I'm not so sure. I heard the rain. How about this direction? Yay. This is Yeah, I can see her face. She's pretty right, wow. Let's go. It's like the end of days. Just let me get home. I just want to get home. I guess it's time to look for a new job. Wow, it's crowded over here. Man, everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. I um. If you're about to unburden yourself, don't. Yeesh. You don't make it easy. Stop that right now! No thief skin, my money. Hmm? Another pretty sexy girl here. I wanted the train for sector two. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, Mr. Burke. Can't bump into her. Bump into her again. Could Avalanche really be behind all this? Oh, uh, oh, what the demon? And I'm bumming him. saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Well, my hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Just leave me alone, alright? <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Take a hint, buddy. I'm bumming the oh, yeah. the perpetrators yet. Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? It's an old lady bumming her.
Sao ông kiếm ở đây hả? Đây là Omen It's Jesse I stopped the... The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. Good thing you're a good listener. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <laughs> quit talking out your ass. <laughs> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. <clears throat> just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? <laughs> uh, uh, shh. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world! That's right! That is the Shinra Creed! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history... All that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. 
Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Drugs, crowd will take any job so long as the price is right and many of the people in the towns are in need of his services. When you are in town for people who have their ear to the ground, they will point you in the direction. Chapter 3 Home Sweet Slum Yeah, the train has arrived. Detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you soon uh, at seventh heaven you know where tifa works don't keep her waiting she'll worry sector seven under city station Is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. <sighs> Clubs illusion again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Huh. <laughs> You're such a kidder. Sector 7 Slums. Can I buy something? Glad I got today off. 
Yeah, watching TV. It's news on the TV. What the? That's where I work. No freaking way! Put that fire out, idiots! I was there yesterday. It's the Shinya news. Shinra, Shinra. Oh, the fire here. Money is here too. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barry. Right. Come on in. Oh, D5 is pretty. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Hey, pretty Tifa. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh. Hey! Uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> You know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. Hey, how come the Marine skin different color? <laughs> some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. Oh, um, they find Daddy, pretty. Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Where are we going, Tifa? Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Hmm. Not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? As much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. What's so, going to happen to us? It wasn't that How bad? It, it was. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. 
Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Wow. She finds so pretty. You feel like kissing her, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go in. a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. And you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, at least fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <laughs> Why is the fun not in the room? It's a separate room. Guess it's time for introductions. Let's go out. Is this the far room? Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. <sighs> mm. 
Be cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Life in the slums. Where do we go now? Take the wall around here. business shall we huh? these water filters won't replace themselves <laughs> although the next batch probably could if Jessie put her mind to it most every home in the area has one folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell honestly they make us more money than this place and it's easy money too we bring new filters collect the old ones and get paid what <sighs> give me a break I'm not a salesman I'm a soldier which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds, too. As long as I get it all today. We won't be getting any more shipments until the train starts. Hopefully we'll get an update on the situation soon. 